Welcome to Game of Goons, and today we'll be playing Pandemic. I'll teach you how to play in this coming video, so you can join us when we finally get round to doing a playthrough. Welcome back to Game of the Goons, and today we can show you how to play Pandemic, where the idea is to move the pawns, treat the diseases, build research stations, and generate cures. So welcome to how to play. So welcome to how to play a pandemic where we're teaching you the rules of this fairly simple game. So first things first, how to set up pandemic. First you want to place a research station in Atlanta, home of the CDC. Um, and then you want to create your player deck. Um, this is done by separating these player cards here into a series of piles um, and include an epidemic card which will get shuffled into each of these piles like this that'll be shuffled and that'll become your pile eventually you'll stack these all up and have your player deck we're using four cards today as an inductory game you can use five cards for a standard game um, up to a total of six for heroic character cards um, you shuffle them randomly. Uh, we're going to have two players today. Um, so we'll have the scientist and the researcher. Uh, each character has a special ability. So you only need four cards of the same color uh, to discover the cure, um, rather than a total of five. And the researcher can share any one of their city cards uh, during a share knowledge, and it doesn't need to match the city that you are in, which is a fairly useful. Each card for a two player game, each character gets dealt four cards. These are your city cards, uh, which you'll be discarding to travel to different locations um, or create a cure. Um, and there is an event card here, which allows us to remove any one card from the infection discard pile from the game. Um, events can be played at any time, even if it is not your go. The other player. Bad shuffle, but they have four red cards. As they are the scientists, they can use that to create a cure at any research station. Take the colored pawns to indicate the players. So white for the scientist, brown for the researcher, and they start in Atlanta as well. The goal is to find all four cures before all the disease cubes get used up. Uh, before the outbreaks reach a total of eight or before the player deck has run out. Please note, you only have to find the cure to all diseases to win the game. You do not have to eradicate them, although that does help um, prevent outbreaks. With all the counters, pawns in place, your player deck in place and your infection deck in place, you then need to prepare the board. This is done by flipping three city um, infection cards. So London, Eastern Ball and Buenos Aires. Um, and of course they get corresponding cubes to the location. So London is blue, uh, London's there. We put three cubes on London. Three cubes on Eastern Ball of that color and three cubes in Buenos Aires, which is down here, of the yellow. We now repeat that um, for another three. These cards go in the infection discard pile. The next three get revealed. Oh, all black, that's not good. So you get two black cubes here, two in Mumbai, and two in Moscow. You reveal a three more final cards. Madrid, Hajimin City, and Tokyo. 
Madrid is blue, so Madrid gets one single cube. Ho Chi Minh City. Gets one cube, and so does Tokyo, which is up here. Boards at the end of the world. Um, you can see it connected to San Francisco through that line. Um, and that pawn can also travel that way or vice versa. Then the board is all set up. Pawns have multiple selection of actions they can take, um, which are handily listed by the reference cards. So a player at a research station, so if a scientist is going first, they can discard uh, four city cards of the came, same colour. This is typically five the scientists can discard four because of their special ability. That will allow them to create the cure, which means when you come to do a treat action um, in a city with three red cubes, it will remove all three rather than just the usual one. The cure will also be marked by this little marker here. Once all the red cubes are eliminated from the board, this becomes eradicated and your infection city step won't allow you to place any more red disease cubes. Once a go is finished, the player then draws two cards from the player deck. So they draw one to your keep that. Oh, they've drawn an epidemic card. With an epidemic card, the infection counter increases. You then draw from the bottom of the deck, the last card at the bottom of the deck. The pits at type A, and three disease cubes of that color get placed at that location. To intensify, you then shuffle the infection discard pile and place it back on the top. After that's done, you remove the epidemic card from the game entirely. That's the player's turn over. You then need to go to the infection step after each player's turn. This is indicated by the number here. For instance, we are drawing two cards. If it's up here, you would draw three cards and here four cards. We're on two. So we draw that there. So that's Taipei. So we'd put one cube at Taipei. Unfortunately, there's three cubes there already. Um, so you can't place a fourth cube. It creates an outbreak. So all connected cities get a cube. So Taipei, Shanghai, Hong Kong, and Manila. As you can see, it's a fast way of getting rid of your cubes. If the cubes for any one disease run out, you then lose the game. It looks like we need to get over there and start removing the red cubes. Once an outbreak occurs, you move the outbreak symbol up. Once it reaches the death symbol, you have then lost the game. Each player can take up to four actions. They can move for an action. They can discard a city card to take a direct flight to that location, uh, Madrid. They can take an action to treat a cube um, you only remove one cube at a time, unless you have a cure, in which case you can then remove three cubes at a time. If two players are on the same square, you can share knowledge, um, which allows you to, to share that city card that you're both in, unless you're the researcher and they've got special actions. You can shuttle from a research station to a research station as one action. You can build a research station as an action. So the move and a placement of the research station will be two actions. And you can use an action to discover a cure by discarding five city cards of the same location. If you're in a city and discard a city of the same name, so I'm in Madrid, I'm going to discard Madrid, I can then fly to any city in the entire world. 
which is useful when you're trying to clear out diseases. And that's it, and that's how to play Pandemic. It's a fairly simple game. Um, there are a few more things you can do depending on the characters you're playing as. Um, each character has different roles. There are event cards which you can use at any stage in the game, even if it's not your turn. Um, but we'll go through that when we're allowed to meet for a playthrough. Thanks for joining. Remember to like, subscribe. If you are subscribed, click the bell button to get notified of upcoming videos. And keep up to date on our Facebook and Twitter pages for more going on in the channel and the gaming world. See you soon.